I'm Taranki Ramacharaka. So I just uploaded a video called Fake Humanity. The thumbnail, I think, is pretty interesting. I, I put on it, this video is made by 100% human being. That would be me. Then there's, you know, the image on, on the thumbnail is a, it's an image of, of a rather thoroughgoing uh, transhumanized human being. No longer a human being, really. And to, just to <laughs> symbolize that, this one got the chip. I put a potato chip there on the head, so you can see that. And if you look at the tag words just below the video, three tag words I put there, transhuman, transhumanism, and vegetable processor. Well, yeah, you can take several meanings out of that, and they all they all apply. Okay, but now listen. I want to pose a question to you. I know that there, there, there there's a spectrum of opinions about the chip, but if you've looked at some of my other videos, you know what the real agenda is about it. <clears throat> uh, people, at least in the, in the United States, didn't go very well for the. Let's get our newborn babies microchipped idea. It was pushed on us for a little while. People didn't run to have their kids microchipped. Well, sorry, sorry for the elite. You know, who want to gain total control over not just the masses, but individuals our minds, everything. <sighs> Did you know, by the way, that all the cell phone towers, cell phone antenna towers, uh, they can be used to triangulate, you know, with three of them, zero in on, an, on, on a specific person's location, with GPS stuff. And they can also transmit exactly to that point any frequencies, uh, modulated frequencies that they desire. I'm not up to controversy or argument over that. Okay, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm proposing it. I've looked into it. Just leave it at that. All right, but now, th that has to do with the microchip, you know, being able to shut it off remotely, you know. If it were this to become implemented across society, you know, the chip thing. Okay. But now listen, back to the transhumanist thing in general. <clears throat> Let's say a person says, well, I don't care about the chip, you know. I don't care. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, I, I can see a good side to it. Well, number one here, all of these totalitarian tiptoe little steps... Uh, can be promoted on the grounds of a of, of a good side. They all can, and they all are promoted in this way, one way or the other. You know, there's some good side to it. Uh, you know, all, all the smart stuff, the smart electronics. Well, now you can do this, and you can do this. I, I, I want to do that. Well, you know, this works both ways. But anyway, uh, furthermore, uh, let's, say, let's say a person says, I don't care. I don't care if there's a downside. I don't care if it's a whole big downside. Like one little advantage, I want that. I want speed and greed right now. Uh, the heck with all the... All, all the major consequences that are negative that I'm not going to like. The heck with all that. That's probably not going to happen. Okay. All right, fine. Let's just go ahead and grant that. All right? That somebody accepts something like this toward a transhumanist 
uh, being, beingness, at what point, here's the point of this video, this is a simple one, can you, let's say it's you, right, let's say this is you, let's say, I'm talking about you. You might say, I'd still be me. I'd still be a human being. I'd have the chip, you know, so they could shut it off. I'm not going to break any rules. I'm always going to, you know, like bow down, obey. Even if things change, you know, get real strict. I can't imagine a time when, when obeyance is two things that I don't want to obey. I can't imagine that. I'm an obeyer. I'm a follower. I'm a sheeple. I admit it. You know, whatever. I don't care. I'll worship the government as God. Whatever they want me to do, whatever they want me to say, however they want me to act, if they want me to open fire on my neighbor, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. There's never going to be any need to shut my chip off and make it so that I have no resources at all for survival. Now, won't happen to me. Okay. Let's just go ahead and say, fine, fine for you, fine for you. At what point are you no longer going to be a human being? Because that would just be one, you know, like, tiptoe up to that, up to that, up to that, up to that, okay, the chip, okay? But then that's just one step, too, you know? What's the next step, and the next step, and the next step? You may be rolling along thinking, oh, I'll still be me. I'll still be a human being. There's no way that can change. Well, let me ask you this. If you get a car and somebody wrecks into it and you have to replace the door, so you replace the door. Then somebody rear ends you, so you have to pl replace all the, the rear end, you know, like the trunk lid, the bumper, both fenders in the back. <sighs> then you change the kind of wheels you have. You get different wheels. <clears throat> you put in a new motor. You put in a different one. A different motor, a different size. Different horsepower. Change the steering wheel. You change the seats. <clears throat> it's still the car you got, though, right, that you bought in the first place. Still the same car, right? So then you change the carpet. In fact, you get a new chassis. You know, you rebuild this thing. You, get it, you put in a new chassis. Uh, make a lot of body changes, modifications. Then maybe you want to drag race it. So you... Make some frame changes. Still your car. Still the same car. Are you sure? This is still the same car. At what point is it no longer the car you bought in the first place? At what point does it no longer function like the car you bought in the first place? Do you even know at what point that line would get crossed? Pretty vague, isn't it? Honest, bright here. It's pretty vague, isn't it? But there is that line, isn't there? At what point does the identity of that car actually change? I'm not talking about the VIN number. I'm talking about the, 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 the whole concept of the thing here. The car. When is it no longer the original car? When does it no longer 
act like the original car? When does it no longer work like the original car? When does it no longer look like the original car? When is it a different car? There is a point at which it's a different car. It's different. It's not the same car. But do you know at what point that line gets crossed? No. So do you think it might be kind of easy to cross that line without knowing it? Yeah. Honest, bright, please. Honest, bright. Hmm. One little step at a time, remember. It's just one little thing at a time. If you don't see the big picture, you can't see the forest with the trees because you're looking at only the trees, each little step, in other words. Saying, oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. So there are some forfeitures, but look, I get an advantage here. I go a little faster. <clears throat> I can handle more bumps. I can talk to my friend quicker. I can make a little more money. I get a little more insurance. I get an extra baby Ruth bar at the end of the week. I get an extra gold star. You know, on the bulletin board. But the line gets crossed. Can you go back? Can you go back across that line? When that line involves, by definition, necessarily entails, somebody else is now in complete control over your consciousness. And what you can do and what you cannot do how you must think, how you must act, how you do think and how you do act. Could there even be a line that gets crossed, another one, which you don't even know anymore, that you have lost, that you have lost all control, or that there ever was a different way? How many lines would get crossed, would there need to be crossed, until humanity is not even human being anymore? Where is that line? When does it get crossed? So be careful. Be careful what you accept. And what you say is okay. There may be some downfalls, but it's okay. It won't change me. It'll be an asset. Be careful. Be careful. Think about that car. I'm Taranki Ramachiraka. Don't be a vegetable processor. Thank <laughs> you.